So we've been able to set up multiple uploads just using one request, which is very, very handy. The next thing we're going to do is that uh, because we have these other guys here, we might want a situation whereby this doesn't upload until this button is hit to say send message, which is going to be usually the case. So let's go back to, we can have that in the options. So uh, let's see. Um, let's see if we have automatic. Okay, good. So we can set the auto process queue to be false. So if false files will be added to the queue, but the queue will not be processed automatically. This can be useful if you need some additional user input before sending the file. So in our case, we need to also send these guys here also. So let us add that to our code. Uh, let's close this. So in here, uh, auto process, if I can spell that correctly without looking at the documentation, let's see. So let's add a file and see if that automatically uploads. So it doesn't upload and uh, we're going to do such a way that until we click this send before it works. Okay. So we have, we have, uh, there's an event here that's called drop zone, drop zone sending multiple. Okay, so this takes in the files, the header, and the form data itself. So fired if the upload multiple option is true. Okay, so we're going to use this. We're going to emit this. So let's just make sure we copy it. And let's head back to our code. So let's go to the component itself, we're going to emit that uh, event. So just hit enter at this. Now here we're going to put in the method we're going to use to, um, to run that. Uh, let's see, let's call it send message. So let's go and create the method. So I have send message, make sure I expired it correctly. And from here, we see that it accepts files, this and form data. I'll just copy all of that. Uh, let me do it the way I've been doing it. So I'll just make it an async function. It accepts these three parameters or arguments. And uh, we're going to now send this to the server. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to append using the form data. So let us, as you know already, we're going to have to do like a V model and all this input field. So let's quickly do that V model email. Uh, what else? Uh, oops, no, sorry. V model recipient. Uh, so I don't need the name, V model, email, uh, see V model message. And in our reactive data, let's have the email blank. We have the recipient, if I can spell that correctly. And we have the message itself. Okay, let me just confirm. I feel like I spelled this wrong. Recipient. I did spell it wrong. It's never used, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and append that. So say form data that append. So I'm gonna append email. Um, it's going to be this email. Let's copy this, paste, uh, paste. So this is going to be message. 
recipient. So what I'm going to do is something that's a little bit different just so we can see the the response of these guys. So I'll go to my um, my API. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to message file uploaded. I'm also going to say data just to see this response. I'll say request. So what I'm going to do is that we already have this method to append uh, other form values. So in the button, which is a send message, I'm going to add like a click listener and I'm going to call this, um, uh, let's call it send. Uh, uh, let's call it shit message for lack of a better word. Now this is going to be another method. And what this method is going to do, so we can have a sync function. It doesn't have to be. So what this method is going to do is it's going to make a reference to this view, or where is it? This view um, drop zone component using this ref. So I'll just copy this. And what I want to do is I want to process the queue. So I'll say this refs and uh, put the name and I'll say process queue. Now this is from the documentation. I just confirm the name of the ref. Okay, good. So that's saved. Let us see some T codes. This is a test message and uh, attach our three files. Open and let's hit send says upload successful so i want to check the response we got so here you can see let's see if we can get the uh, okay so data we're getting the right response so I'm just gonna head back to my okay let's see let's see email Boots, no files, no cookies, no headers. No, okay, let's try this again. Okay, this is already uploaded. Let me refresh. Let's try some other pictures. I'll hit send. So let's see what the response. So we can see we're getting we're getting that response from the server. Good. So what you can do now is you can go ahead and uh, you can use the response you're getting, the request you're getting from the server, uh, from sorry from the front end, and you know, like create a database, add a database, and also add the name of the file to your database. So that brings us to the end. Uh, one more thing we could do is that we could add something to display when this is done. So I'll quickly create, uh, let's say a view. Let's create it. Uh, okay, let's just create that at the top of here. Let's say message has been sent. So thank you. I just style this a bit. Add some padding around. 
Just say text center and uh, MX auto. So it says thank you, your message has been sent. So what we could do is we could put a view if and say send success. So we have a value of send success and uh, what we could do for the other things we have here we could add uh, view if to it if the send success is not true so I have a view if there in fact what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this off add this in a div in a parent div And I'll have view else here. So this way, if send success is true, this message is going to be shown. Else, it's going to show this other one. So in my reactive data, I'll just say send success is false. Okay, and uh, when we're done sending, if this is successful, we are just gonna to go that. I said this success. Sorry, send success. We're going to. Okay, I must have misspelled it. Speak multiple files. Send. I said thank you. Your message has been sent. So when I refresh, it's going to come back. So, so if you found this video helpful in any way, do leave a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel as I'll be releasing videos more frequently. And do let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and the series you would like me to work on. I, I plan on working on some VIEW and Laravel uh, series for you guys to help you with whatever you're working on. So see you guys in the next video.